Hello everybody, I am that role-playing ginger and we are back with more Bloodborne. It's been a little while since I played some Bloodborne. Um, I'd been obsessed with some other things right now that might have come out. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3! Um, but yeah, um, I've also been like going through a bunch of stuff in life and I've not really been, aside from that and a couple of other things, haven't really been playing too many video games. Um, but we, uh, I'm, I'm doing a little better now. I've got myself some coffee. It's a little late at night, but not too late anymore. And I got work tomorrow, but I got, I got hours. I got hours. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do some Bloodborne. Um, last we did, I uh, got my character's stats pretty decently leveled out. We're at 20 vitality, 20 endurance, and 30 arcane. My next goal for this, uh, this build, and it's not a build that I'm following or anything. I just, it's something I want to try because I've never really done somebody that focuses more on arcane than anything else. I want to get my strength to 16 and my skill to 12 which will cost me seven levels uh, so that I can wield Ludwig's Holy Blade because it does have an arcane scaling to it. Um, I did that on the other character that I made uh, to kind of like test this run out and it's been working really effectively. Um, but first things first, we just went to the, uh, the, old tr or the old hunter's workshop and there's a couple more things we need to do at the healing church um, workshop that we haven't finished yet. We need to get couple of things from an elevator and then at the very bottom of that pit that I fell down to go through that door that led me to the old workshop uh, there's a monster down there and I think there's a messenger item as well so we're gonna go and get those taken care of uh, right now this is going to be my primary weapon until we eventually get ourselves the big bad Ludwig's holy blade I am still liking this little like almost piratey look she's got going on, and I, I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, first things first, we need to go on the elevator. There's a little secret passage here. I don't think there's any baddies up here. Not positive, but I don't think there are. There's just some goodies. Like... Whatever's in this chest. The formless Odin rune. Uh, the secret, a secret symbol left by Carol Runesmith of Bergenworth, the Great One Odin. Odin? I'm gonna say Odin. Odin. Oh, Odon. Odon. I don't know. I'm gonna say Odin. Uh, lacking form exists only in voice and is symbolized by this rune. Those who memorize it enjoy a larger supply of quicksilver bullets. Human or no, the oozing blood is a medium of the highest grade and the essence of the formless Great One Odin. Both Odin and his inadvertent worshippers surreptitiously seek the precious blood. Surreptitiously seek. That is a fun thing to say if you have a slight lisp. Okay, and we got urns. We can put, we can make our, our messengers all potheads now. I love it. I'm actually gonna do that right now. Cause I also need to want to respawn my health. I don't want to waste a, a vial on that fall. Um, off camera, I'm gonna go and probably farm up the the blood to get the the blade because I think it's what like twenty thousand now to level up. Very well. Let me start. Um, oh no, it's still, it's still only like twelve, twelve and a half thousand. Um, we should get to a point where I'd e I'll be easily able to farm, like, thousands upon thousands of blood echoes in this episode, not in this episode, but in a, in a few episodes. Um, I want to, I don't have, I haven't beaten the Witch of Hemwick yet, so I can't equip any of the Carol runes. But I do want to come over here, and turn all these little guys into a pothead. Because I love the little potheads. Look it up! They're so cute! I love it. I love it. Yeah. I've been I've I've made it very far on the other character that I made to kinda like refresh myself and also test the build I'm going for. Uh so I've I've kind of had to like piece back where I was on the actual playthrough. That way I didn't immediately forget everything. But now that we got that, the next thing we got to do to finish off the Healing Church workshop is to just go all the way down to the bottom of that really, really dark pit. Which isn't difficult. It isn't that difficult. Hi. I love you. You're so pretty. And you're cute too. Ah, oh, brave hunter. What is it? Have you renewed thoughts on this matter? I've already received blood. My bad. Oh, which blood do I have? I have Yosefka's blood and blood of Ariana. Oops. So hopefully she doesn't kill Ariana, because I don't. I need Ariana not to be dead. 
I don't there I can go because I want I want to get the good the final final ending which is uh, three pieces of the one third of umbilical cord but there are four I believe you can get in the game so if Ariana dies uh, from jealousy of the priestess it's not the end of the world I think there's at least one I get guaranteed from a boss and I've already gotten another one hers would be another one and then there's I think one more. Now I am really a beast because I'm powerful with this thing. But eventually this thing isn't going to scale as well as some other things, so... It, it's eventually going to lose its value, especially uh, when its durability is this bad. This thing's durability is a nightmare. That's like the downside of having it. It's free lightning damage pretty early in the game. However, it only lasts like one to two runs before it's completely depleted of its durability. So I'm gonna go back down here. Go back in here. And then this time there's an item down there that I want to get. So I'm gonna try and go for that. And hopefully not botch the, the falls. Myself. Cool. It is the it is a messenger top hat. Pick it up real fast, so I wasn't quite able to see. There it is. Messenger top hat. Hat the messengers are oddly fond of. A nice top hat rounds out any Yarnum gentleman. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have interest in the adornment. Why not let them be happy and reveal his babes and revel his babes? There's some big bad beastie down there. I feel like that fall's gonna kill me. Oh, there's another item right here. How did I not see? What is this item? Or what does it say? Take a step forward. I understand that. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop off just to just to be on the safe side. We like being on the safe side. Got a madman's knowledge. And then there's a fall down that oh god, I can't see anything. There's a fall right there that I should be able to survive. Ah, eh, I only got uh, 1226 uh, blood echoes. It's not going to be a hurtful death if I die. Made it! Yeah, and there's a beast down here. You can hear him, like, snarling. There he is. I'm just going to... Hey friend. Yeah, this thing's this thing's creepy. Oh, it's got fireballs. This thing is like a whoa fuck. This thing is like if a lycanthrope went even crazier. You know what? You know what? Take that. <laughs> Indiana Jones is yet to death. Got the beast rune. Actually, the beast rune. A secret symbol left by Carol, runes of Bergenworth. A transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast. The bearer of, a lab of the beast has rune has accentuated a temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early Carol runes, as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. And then I think this is actually... I can't open it. Okay, cool. But that... Oh, the door up top's the one I can't open. This leads to a very scary place. There are a lot of things here that will want you dead. And have the capability to make it so. But... This is how you would get around to the Blood Starved Beast if you hadn't already uh, beaten it. God, I, I got, I swung at you, and I got you. Pick up the rumpled yarn hat and sweaty clothes. Kind of do want to take your, take your slow walk. Whoa! Ooh you beastie. 
kind of want to take a slow walk because there's a, there's, a, there's a big bagman up there. But there's also uh, townsfolks walking about. So he's not a threat on his own, but we got like two, I think two or three villagers going in a line. You can see the light starting to come, I think. Maybe not. But you can hear them dragging their weapon. Uh, and a dog. So, deadly, deadly, deadly encounters to be had in this zone. Which I think this is just another part of Yarnum. I don't know where the heck the guys are at. There they are. These ones don't have a dog with them. So I could easily take these guys out. I think this is actually from the opening cinematic of the game. Or the, the teaser cinematic. This is how you would get back to the Cathedral Ward. Now there's a dog and some other guys that walk a line over here. There they are. I would like to get them without getting the, uh, the Snatcher, uh, attention. Because they're going to turn around, like, right about now. -ish. Actually, I can go get the Snatcher right now and hopefully kill him before them. Fingers crossed. Snatcher down. Victory is mine. I am the Hunter Supreme. I hear footsteps. Yep, there's the light. God, that's so eerie and I love it. Now, I would like to get the dog first. These guys I can take. Dogs are scarier than them. Alright. I think there are a few more enemies here and there, but those were like the major ones that we were worried about. So now we can just free roam around here, grab some madman's knowledge. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, this is still technically part of the Cathedral Ward, I imagine. Got people partying in here. Um, I wouldn't say. This is absolutely a knight I would never want to remember. I thought that was an item. This was, uh, actually just a nightmare. Not the hunter's nightmare, though. That's an actual other thing. This is just a nightmare in that it's a nightmarish thing to have to go through. For anybody. Oh, no. It's one of those. These guys suck. They will noodle you down your throat and steal your insight. But I'm hoping you won't be able to hear me. They are weak to lightning, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. Lightning takes them down. Fire blood gemstone. Perfect. That'll let me put it to a weapon and turn the weapon into fire damage. Something that's actually pretty good for arcane builds, because fire and bolt both uh, go towards that. And um, Vicar Amelia, the next big boss, that, or the big boss that I gotta fight eventually, is weak to fire, so I might... Just go to my spear and put it in the spear and have that be it. Because I think Vicar Amelia is not weak to bolt. She's weak to fire. Yeah, this is then going to lead to a shortcut that takes me back up to the Cathedral Ward. And bada bing bada boom, we did it. We got the things done. Now, I don't know how I would ever come back to this spot. Wait, no. I was thinking the wrong thing earlier when I said it would lead me back to the Bloodstarved Beast. This basically leads uh, over here where I can... Cause how did I get down there again? That was in the chapel. So I would have to beat one boss to get to this spot. Because you can only come to this spot after you beat one of the bosses there. But yeah, Cathedral Ward's uh, port is right down here. So now that I got that taken care of... What's the next thing on my list? I think I have to beat either Vicar Amelia or the Hemwick uh, 
the, the Witch of Hemwick. And so I'm gonna head back to the Hunter's Dream. And see about turning that uh, saw spear into a fire saw spear. You see the Snatcher is still over there in the corner, so you want to watch out for that. You want to watch out for this douchebag as well. And just go right back into here. And yeah, that takes care of all of the, uh, the uh, old healing church workshop. So let's see. Let's see if I can beat Vicar Amelia in this part. That'd be fun. That'd be, that'd be a good time. But first, I gotta repair my Tenitris because it's, uh, it's already probably super broken. Alright, fortify. My saw spear is only a plus three, whereas my tinnitus is a plus six. However, tinnitus is doing decent damage. Um, blood gem fortification. Oh, I have to get it up again before I, I have to upgrade my weapon again before I can um, attach fire to it. That's okay, though. That's okay. What I can do right now is I can head towards the, the Witch of Hemwick. I can do that one. Witch of Hemwick. We'll just go to the Cathedral Ward. The Witch of Hemwick is a fun boss, and because I have the Tenitris plus six and it's going to do a lot of damage, I might not try to cheese her. Because there is a very easy way to cheese the Witch of Hemwick. Um, because when you see... Uh, if you have insight, like you can see at the top I have six insight. If you have any insight when you fight her, uh, she summons shadowy assassins to come and get you throughout the whole fight. And then there's like two different versions of the witch there and so both of them will summon him. Boom! Boom! 612. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Boink! Um, but yeah, they will summon shadowy assassins to come and stab you and all that kind of stuff. But if you don't have any insight, nothing like, they don't, they don't show up during the fight. And it's just you and the witch. So it just means you running around fighting the witch. Uh, she's invisible for the most part, but once you find her, you can just wail into her. So yeah, that's like, that's the big thing, is that. And the down, the thing is that because uh, every time you fight a boss, or discover a boss for the first time, you gain one insight. It's a mechanic of the game. Um, because of that, it means that every single time, or when you go to fight her, if you do get rid of all your insight before you go and fight her, uh, and then decide to go after her, you're still going to end up getting those shadows because that initial encounter will give you an insight. So the way to cheese her... Let me get the big boy's attention. The way to cheese her is to bold Hunter's Mark out of there right when the fight has started and you've gotten your... Oh, he saw me. Uh, right when the fight has started and you've gotten that insight. And then go spend the insight so that then you go fight the boss and she doesn't have those assassins because you don't have any insight. Gun does a lot of damage. I do a lot of damage. I'm just all around beast mode right now. I'm feeling okay. Got lightning, lightning in my veins. Look at this guy and hopefully get some quick silver bullets replenished. Ow! What'd you fall down there for? And he's got bullets. Then there's the big boy. The big boy's not going to take the lightning very easily. Get these. I think I saw an item over here that I just didn't get. Nope, I already got it. That big boy needs to go away. Yeah, right there is the boss door to... Um, to Vicar Amelia. And I will be summoning a hunter to help me. Because Vicar Amelia is not a fun fight. Well, she's a, she's a fun fight, but she's not a difficult fight. But having that hunter helps really just, like, draw the aggro off of you. It, it really... Actually, I don't think I fought the hunters down here. I'm getting so sidetracked, but I want to fight the hunters. If I haven't already. We have two hunters down here. One of them is actually using the tinnitus, I think. And I should be able to pretty easily mop the floor with them now. Yep, I see them. I didn't fight them yet. 
You come up here. Get rid of these burbs. I want to drag the hunter up here so that he fights me way away from the other guy. Because the other guy's a jerk. The other guy has like an, a really overpowered uh, uh, rifle. Hey, you. What's up, buddy? I hear the skitters. There's a skitterer. They're all getting away. There's a lot of them here, but the hunters are the main priority right now. Look at that. Look at... <laughs> He's also wearing my favorite armor set. Well, second favorite armor set. Use your bolt paper. This is alright if you don't have a denitrous. I might actually... If I can't equip the, the rune, I can actually just use fire paper. But then there's this guy over here who's going to be a bit more of a problem. Because this guy is hard to get. Oh, he's there! I forgot! And he's got range. He's got range and spread. God damn it. And it takes a good it takes a good knowing when you can actually get in there and get in on him. Getting him cornered though. Wow, oh, you bastard. God, I need to get out of here. He's almost done. That gun, though, that gun's the problem. Especially because he could spam it like that. And he never runs out of bullets. Gotcha! Give me your goods. Give me your goodies. And then talk to this dude. Oh, wait, there's nobody to talk to in these places. With blood. No, I don't want to. Bless us with blood. I'd rather not. And then, before going down those stairs, you want to come up here, because up here is another snatcher. So if you didn't, if you if you haven't spawned the one down uh, there before, this is another way to get to that place easily. Oh god! You magicy bastard! I'm not gonna be able to get behind him, but it's fine. I just need him to rage. Gotcha! Green bloodstones? Nope, just bloodstones. And you want to beat him because over here is a little secrety item. Twin bloodstones. And it's a spot for you to drop down on these douchebags who will be sniping you the entire time you're fighting those uh, bulky dudes. And as you can see, there are skitters down there. No skitter bugs. I don't remember what they're actually called. I call them skitter bugs. They're the little little dudes that give you gems. Gems and shards. There's at least one of them down there. These guys aren't going to be as much of a threat once, now that I have a plus six to nitrous. It actually kind of ruins their day a good chunk. <laughs> it makes them have a bad time. Tempering Bloodstone, very nice. Quicksilver Bullets, very nice. Ah, oh, the Skitterbug got attention. He's going to teleport away. There's two of them, though. One of them's coming my way. Oh, one down. The other skitter bug went that way. That's fine. They just give me the bloodstones, the basic ones, which I have. A, I have a decent amount of. I think actually I can get my. Uh, I don't want to go in here. I'll grab this item. Don't go in there unless you want to have an instant death. Blood elixir. 
You don't go down that rest of the way unless you want death. Uh, and if you want death, then go right ahead. The, um, what was I about to say? Or it went that way. My saw, my saw spear, I might be able to get it to a plus four because I have three twin bloodstone shards. I think, I think, yeah, it goes three, five, and then eight for each upgrade level. And then I get chunks, uh, three, five, and eight. And then there's like something that is bigger than a chunk and you only need to think one of them, but you only get like, I think two in the game, maybe. I don't know if you can farm it. If you can, it's been too long and I don't remember. Uh, there's a skitter bug right around here, but I don't think it, I think it teleported away when I was fighting Niger Sky. Yeah, it's already gone. Alright. Yeah, we've done all that side stuff, which is nice. Um, I think, yeah, we've already got ourselves another level. Actually, we got ourselves the Holy Blade. Uh, 20,000 is what it takes to buy the Holy Blade. And so I have enough to purchase it, and then I still have enough to upgrade the Saw Spears. I'm going to run my way back over to the Hunter's Dream and get that done. And then, you know what? Next episode, I'm gonna try fighting Vicar Amelia. Uh, it'll be a plus four saw cleaver, which is still or saw spear, which is still decent. It's not. It's nothing. Nothing to snuff at. Vicar Amelia isn't the toughest boss. Vicar Amelia is not the toughest boss in the world. Um, I should be I should be okay, especially because I have the ally. The ally does give her uh, extra HP, but with a saw spear that has fire, I should be okay. Because I think plus four is what's going to let me equip that gem that has that gives it fire. So I'm going to run back. I'm going to see about that. If not, I should have fire paper. Uh, I've got three fire paper. Yeah, I got this. I got fire against her, it's fine. It's weird playing it on this, playing the game on, uh, on this character again, because everything's already changed. I've already gone through, like, the world-changing stuff of the game in my other save. Sinister Resonant Bell! A bloodstained bell discovered in the old underground labyrinth. Oh, she's sleepy. I'm not going to wake her just yet. I'm going to let her get a few more minutes of sleep while I go over here. And I purchase myself the Ludwig's Holy Blade. A trick weapon typically used by the Healing Church Hunters. It is said that the Silver Sword was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. When transformed, it combines its, with its sheath to, perform a, to form a great sword, which is one of the coolest things in the world. The Healing Church workshop began with Ludwig and departed from old German's techniques to provide hunters with the means to hunt more terrifying beasts. Perhaps things still worse. So I'm going to purchase it, because it is a, uh, it is a, an arcane scaling weapon. Not the best arcane scaling weapon, by far, but it's an arcane scaling weapon. So I'm going to prepare my Tenitris. Going to fortify my Saw Spear to be a plus four. And then I have, I can go ahead and do this. Boom. Boom. And I need two more shards to get that to a plus three. Uh, Blood Gem Fortification. Saw Spear. Dang, it still doesn't have the other one. Make sure it's got its best stats, though. All right, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. I'm actually going to get myself. Um, what do you have? Oh, I forgot you have goodies for me. I have six insight. I need at least one insight so that I can. Uh, I'm gonna buy this just cause. I need at least one insight so that I can summon the hunter. Ashen Hunter's Garb. Eh. I've never been a, fa a fan of this one. It's not even good looking like the church one is. But yeah, I'm going to call it for right now, but I, in the next episode, we are going to take on Vicar Amelia and see if we can't win. Um, I got faith. I got faith we can do this. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, everybody, peace out.